This is the story of a cruel mother, her daughter, and her blind son. He was not a son she loved, and without a husband to provide for them, her son was a burden she eventually grew to hate, while she and her daughter ate delicious bear meat in the warmth of their hut. She fed her son dog meat and forced him to live out in the cold porch. But her son wasn't always blind. Before he lost his sight, he had been a great hunter. Now, he was made to feel pathetic and worthless. Frustrated with his life, the boy waited for spring. He asked his sister, has the lake ice melted yet? Yes, she replied. And have the red-throated loons returned yet? Yes, they're back, she said. Knowing what he had to do, the boy asked his sister to take him to the lake. He crawled to the water and drank deeply. Just as he had hoped, a loon had come to him. The loon told him that it was his very own mother that had caused him to go blind. Having lost her husband, she came to resent her son. Seeking revenge, she rubbed dirty whale fat in his eyes while he slept and cursed him blind. The loon told him that it could help him see again. All you have to do is climb onto my back. See anything? asked the loon. I'm starting to see light, he answered. How about now? the loon asked. It's getting clearer. I can see some forms, the boy replied. See those little grasses that are growing way off into the distance? I can see everyone now. There, now you can see as well as a loon. The boy thanked the loon and went on his way. Once he got back to camp, his mother realized the curse had been broken. Nervously, she asked, Would you like something good to eat? Dog meat, the boy scoffed. No thanks. I'll feed myself. As summer approached, the sea ice opened. The boy went hunting for whale. Not wanting to be pulled into the frigid water by a harpooned whale, He had his sister hold on to a rope around his waist. Seeing what fun her children were having, the mother asked if she could try it herself. Unaware that her son was blinded by revenge, she trusted him as he tied the rope around her waist and held it tightly in his hands. There's a good one, he told his mother. He tricked his mother into spearing a massive whale, and seizing his chance for revenge, he let go of the rope. The very last sound the cruel mother made sounded like glugging and gulping for air. And so from then on, she came to be known as Lumayu.
underwater, Lumayu's braid twisted so tightly that they turned into a tusk, and she slowly turned into a narwhal. Like his mother, the boy's act of revenge solved nothing and led to a life of cruelty and suffering. And today, the narwhal will forever be a reminder that every act of revenge is a link in a chain that can only be broken by forgiveness. Forgiveness.